caught on camera a police confrontation with a suspected prowler turns deadly, even though officers used non-lethal force. A lot of unanswered questions tonight after a, a suspect died shortly after LAPD officers took him into custody. Well, that incident happened near town in Vernon Avenue. Someone called police were told to report a prowler. Officers then say the man resisted arrest and died after police used force to take him into custody. And CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in South LA with cell phone video of the whole incident. Dave? Well, Pat, we moved over to police headquarters to see if we can get a little more information about exactly what happened and what's going on. We can tell you there will be an investigation, although the LAPD brasser says that the officers in the field showed great restraint. They did everything possible. They negotiated with him. They talked to him. They tried to do everything. They did not use, as you mentioned, real uh, for, uh, real guns. They, they used the, uh, the beanbag and they used the taser. And yet, as you mentioned, he still died in custody. The man seen on this cell phone video and holding up what appears to be a doormat as a shield has been identified by his mother as 25-year-old Jose Chavez. Police said for 30 minutes he held them at bay. They believed he had a weapon and they kept their distance. The sound of a beanbag weapon and a taser gun being fired at him. And then Chavez runs and appears to jump off the porch. That's when he was taken into custody and a short time later he died at the hospital. Chief Beck has said that he appeared to be under the influence, and I have been told that he was acting in an agitated manner. Which indicates he may have been high on something, but an autopsy will have to determine what, if anything, he was on. Decent guy. Uh, I don't want to say anything about him. Friends of Chavez, who came by the scene on Town Avenue today, didn't want to say anything else. He kept telling him to drop a weapon, you know. He didn't want to give his name, but he was next door painting a house when all this started. I didn't know what was going on. At one point, he takes off his hat and bows to the police. He stuffs something underneath his shirt, and he has a water bottle in one hand. And according to police, this went on for more than 30 minutes. And they used a lot of time in communicating with this individual. His mother, who did not want to go on camera, told me that her son, Chavez, left this house at about 10 o'clock Sunday morning, and that he told her, I'm going to be gone for a couple hours, and I'll be back. He then apparently walked in that direction towards Town Avenue, Two hours later, the confrontation began. The call came out, prowler in the neighborhood, and police said they did everything they could to get Chavez to give up, but he wouldn't. Now, the LAPD says that they never thought that he had a gun, but they did believe he had a weapon. They wouldn't say what kind, and I've been told that a weapon was not found. Back to the studio.